Sexual Reproduction in Flowering Plants Introduction Sir, why do we find seeds inside a fruit? Seeds develop as a result of sexual reproduction in plants. What is sexual reproduction? Sexual reproduction is the formation of a new individual following the union of two gametes. Well, uh, sir, which part of a plant takes part in sexual reproduction? Flowers are the reproductive part of plants. How do these beautiful flowers reproduce to form a fruit and seed? Okay, let us learn about sexual reproduction in flowering plants in detail. Objectives at the end of this lesson, you'll be able to identify parts of a flower, understand the structure of stamen and the process of microsporogenesis, understand the structure of gynoecium and the process of megasporogenesis, understand pollination and identify various agents for pollination, understand the types of fertilization and also understand the development of endosperm, embryo, seed and fruit. Parts of a flower Three major categories of floral organs are reproductive organs, female, reproductive organs, male, non-reproductive organs. A. Reproductive organs female, carpal or pistil, stigma, style, ovary, ovules, b, reproductive organs, male, stamen, anther, filament, pollen, c, non-reproductive organs, petals, corolla, sepals, calyx, tepals. Pre-fertilization events. Pre-fertilization events in the sexual reproduction of a flowering plant includes microsporogenesis and development of pollen grains, megasporogenesis and development of female gametophyte. Structure of stamen and anther. Structure of stamen. Stamen consists of a long narrow stalk called filament and a knob-like bilobed anther. Structure of anther. Bithecus anther has two anther lobes and four cavities or microsporangia which develop into pollen sacs. Microsporogenesis and development of pollen grains. Microsporogenesis. In anthers, each diploid mother cell divides by meiosis to form four haploid microspores or microspore tetrad. Each haploid microspore develops an elaborate wall and divides by mitosis to become a pollen grain. Pollen grains represents the male gametophyte, has a two-layered wall, outer exine and inner intine, has a prominent aperture in exine called germ pore. On maturation, pollen grain contains one vegetative cell and one generative cell. Structure of gynoecium and ovule. Gynoecium represents the female gametophyte has three parts stigma style ovary contains an ovarian cavity that bears placenta megasporangia or ovules arises from placenta ovule ovule is an integumented megasporangium it consists of nucleus invested by one or two integuments Parts of ovule, funiculus, 
hilum, raph, nucleus, embryo sac, integuments, micropyle, chalaza. Megasporogenesis and development of female gametophyte. The process of megasporogenesis occurs inside the nucleus of a developing ovule. A single-celled archesporium differentiates the nucleus near micropylar end. Archesporial cell divide into outer parietal cell and inner sporogenous cell. Sporogenous cell behaves as megaspore mother cell. Megaspore mother cell undergoes meiotic division to form four megaspores out of which three degenerate and one remains functional. Functional megaspore develops into female gametophyte by sequential mitotic divisions. Female gametophyte consists of eight nucleate embryo sac. A. Three cells of embryo sac, two synergids and one egg cell at micropylar end forms the egg apparatus. B. Three antipodal cells are formed at chalazal end. C. Central cell consists of two polar nuclei. Pollination. The transfer of pollen from the male anther to the female stigma is called pollination. There are three types of pollination. Autogamy. It refers to the transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma of the same flower. In cleistogamous flowers, anthers and stigma lie close to each other and favor self-pollination or autogamy. Geotonogamy. It refers to the transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma of different flowers of the same plant. Xenogamy. It refers to the transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma of flowers of different plants. Agents of pollination. A pollinator is any agent that transfers pollen from male to female reproductive parts of flowers of the same plant species. Pollinators include wind, water, insects like moth, butterfly, fly, bees, beetles, bats, birds and other animals. The following picture represents co-evolution of hummingbirds long narrow beak with long narrow floral tubes to aid in pollination. Before proceeding further, let us know how much have you learnt. Very good. Very good. Before proceeding further, let us know how much have you learnt. Pollen pistil interaction. Through compatible pollination, the pollen grain germinates on the stigma to produce a pollen tube through one of the germ pores. The contents of the pollen grain moves through the pollen tube to reach the ovule in the ovary at its micropylar end. Pollen tube then enters one of the synergids through the filiform apparatus. Double fertilization. The pollen tube releases the two male gametes into the cytoplasm of the synergids. One male gamete fuses with the egg cell, resulting in the formation of diploid zygote, thus completing syngamy. Other male gamete fuses with two polar nuclei to form triploid primary endosperm nucleus. This is termed as triple fusion. Post-fertilization events. Post-fertilization events include A. Endosperm development B. Embryo development C. Maturation of ovule into seeds and ovary into fruit The primary endosperm cell divides repeatedly 
and forms a triploid endosperm tissue. The cells of this tissue are filled with reserve food materials and are used for the nutrition of the developing embryo. Embryo Development Zygote divides mitotically to form a globular heart-shaped mature embryo. Structure of Embryo An embryo consists of an embryonal axis, two cotyledons in dicots and one cotyledon in monocots. The portion of embryonal axis above the level of cotyledons is the epicotyle which terminates with the plumule or stem tip. The cylindrical portion below the level of cotyledons is hypocotyle that terminates at its lower end in the radical or root tip. Seed and Fruit Development The fertilized ovule becomes the seed. The integuments become the wall of the seed called testa. Mature seeds can be of two types. A. Albuminous B. Non-albuminous A fruit is a mature ovary with seeds inside it. The wall of the ovary becomes wall of the fruit called pericarp. The pericarp of a fleshy fruit consists of A. Endocarp around the seed B. Mesocarp fleshy portion C. Exocarp the skin Before proceeding further, let us know how much have you learnt. Did you know? Pollen tubes production can be artificially provoked by inserting pollen grains in a sugary solution. Solution with concentration between 2% to 20%. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. A flower in a plant consists of male reproductive organs, stamens, female reproductive organs, pistil, and non-reproductive organs. Pollen grains develop inside the microsporangia of anther. The pistil has three parts, stigma, style, and ovary. Seven celled and eight nucleate embryo sac is formed after the process of megasporogenesis. Pollination is the mechanism to transfer pollen grains from the anther to the stigma. Angiosperms exhibit double fertilization because two fusion events occur in each embryo sac, namely syngamy and triple fusion. Zygote develops into the embryo and the primary endosperm cell forms the endosperm tissue. After fertilization, ovary develops into fruit and ovules develop into seeds.